friends uh, i have shared my screen is it visible to you yes sir okay fine so today we'll uh, perform practical number 6 to study load test on three phase induction motor so uh, your uh, fifth unit of uh, syllabus is three phase induction motor and single phase induction motor in that we'll see what is induction motor and then what are the performance parameters what are the different uh, load test performed on this so there are two test one is no load test and another is block rotor test so these are uh, you you have to perform these test in order to find the parameters of uh, this three phase induction motor so your practical is related to that prior to that we have completed the fifth practical on dc motor speed control of dc motor in previous uh, um, practical term so have you performed that practical that is one question and another question i have floated one uh, video of dc motor which is uh, explaining the uh, construction principle of working different types and what are the applications of that dc motor so that uh, that is the brief review of your uh, unit number 4 and in that uh, um, related to that we have performed the practical in last time so i hope you have performed that practical uh, you have understood the practical and uh, after going through this video your ideas of dc motor will be clear to you now in three phase induction motor i am planning to prepare uh, another video uh, for three phase induction motor so that its uh, principle of operation and everything will be uh, clear to you okay so but um, that is apart so today you have to perform load test on three phase induction motor so i have given you the site uh, uh, virtual lab link uh, from um, uh, v labs so this uh, iit guwahati so from iit guwahati both these practicals we have taken so load test on three phase induction motor these are the links so if you will put this on your uh, browser you will be able to um, get the particular vlab link okay so we'll see that after this so first these are the links this is link 1 link number 1 to perform the no load test and this is the test setup which i have created i have tested and i have got the readings also and this is the uh, set up for block rotor test and this is the id for that uh, so you can uh, place uh, put this particular uh, id in your uh, uh, browser window and uh, you will get that particular link uh, so uh, let us go for this no load test so i will directly Uh, share my screen change my screen i'll stop sharing this uh, screen and now i'll share the uh, yes yes now is it uh, visible to you iit guwahati screen yes abhi yes sir ah okay so let us start it is from uh, iit guwahati you can observe there uh, this is the home screen uh, and uh, this is we are performing no load test so what is the objective of this if you will press this introduction you will get this objective so the test is performed to determine no load current i0 no load power factor cos of phi0 windage and frictional losses 
no more core losses no load input and no load resistance rx uh, sorry r0 and reactants x0 this test is performed with different values of applied voltage below and above rated voltage while the motor is running light that is without load so we are not applying any load to the motor and we are running the condition uh, running the motor and we are running it at the rated value so for this particular website of iit guwahati the rated values of these voltages and currents and speed so those are already given and uh, i have already uh, shown you on the ppt also that is for no load and block rotor test it requires knowledge about the rated voltage and the rated voltage for this particular iit guwahati site it is 127 volts okay so with this information let us start how to perform this so the procedure will go first so these are the steps for connection select the cable of color so in previous practical there was no need to select the color for that particular uh, cable but here in this iit guwahati site you have to uh, you have got a freedom to select the color for particular uh, cable so you can select various colors for the cable so you can select the color cable as red and then connect uh, connect l1 to cc and all so we make all these connections which are uh, mentioned here and then you have to perform the experiment so um, for performing that experiment let us uh, have a look on this particular link so a video link is uh, shared to you
so how to make connections that video is also there so you can go through this video or you can uh, read these uh, connections which are uh, shown here and then you can move for the experiment so if you will go to experiment this sort of window will be appearing and now you have got the cable colors you can select the cable color by clicking to this particular point and then you can make the necessary connections so i have already made uh, connections here so uh, after making connections you have to check first whether uh, this particular uh, this connections which you have made whether they are correct or not so you have to press this check connection if the connections are proper then it will indicate the message that yes it is star connections and then you have to turn this switch on then press this or uh, this mcb you have to turn on then press this start button then again switch on this second mcb so first this switch then this mcb then this start button this mcb then you have to keep this knob at b position and this knob at one position and now you can vary this particular knob of voltage variation so by varying this you can get various voltmeter readings these voltmeter readings you can observe it here so now uh, since i have um, interrupted um, it will be it has gone so you can um, keep this knob at various positions and if you will keep it at 100 then you will get all the rated readings so the rated voltage reading you will be able to observe it here as 127 at that particular time what is the ammeter reading you will be getting it here then wattmeter 1 reading you will be getting it here and wattmeter 2 reading you will be getting it here so you have to note all these wattmeter and voltmeter readings and then at the end you have to perform uh, the uh, you have to perform certain calculations so what calculations you have to perform that again i'll come to our ppt power point yes so now we have finished up with no load test of this three phase induction motor so after performing this test we have taken the readings various readings by varying this particular knob of voltage you will get various readings of voltage and for this various readings of voltage or voltmeter you will note all the readings of ammeter wattmeter 1 and wattmeter 2 okay so from experiment we have uh, i have taken those readings of current i0 voltage v0 for the extreme condition of rated voltage at rated voltage rated voltage is 127 volt so for this particular value of rated voltage 127 volt the current value which i have got on the ammeter it was 1.406 ampere wattmeter one reading was 0.133 watt and wattmeter two reading was 0.270 watt so with these four readings i am calculating these Pa parameters so what parameters i will be calculating from this no load power factor so no load power factor it is given by cos of phi 0 where cos of phi 0 you can calculate it from equal to w0 divided by root 3 v0 i0 what is w0 w0 is sum of these two wattmeter readings so w1 plus w2 will be w0 so 0.133 plus 0.270 so it will be uh, something um 
zero one, so it will be four zero three point four zero three watt here W zero and root three V zero and I zero readings are there. V zero is one twenty seven, I zero is one point four zero six ampere. So you substitute the values over here. A cos inverse of this, you will get the value of phi zero. So no load power factor if you want cos of phi zero you have got this if you want what is the value of phi zero then you take cos inverse of this you will get value of phi zero then i w so if you want to calculate this i w it is given as i zero cos of phi zero cos of phi zero value you have already calculated from this first no load power factor and i zero is this one point four zero six So from this, you can get the values like this. Now, after this, you uh, working component of current I M. I M is equal to I zero sine of phi zero. So I zero sine of phi zero. Phi zero you can calculate from this. That is cos inverse of this particular quantity. That will be phi zero. Take sine of that. So sine of phi zero, you will be able to calculate. Multiply by this I zero. So you will be able to calculate this working component of current I M. Now no load resistance R zero. If you want to calculate, it is equal to V zero upon I W. I W you have calculated from this, and the no load reactance X zero is equal to V zero upon I M. I M is the working component of current which you have calculated from this. Okay, so for this particular thing, let us calculate all the values. So I have calculated. So these are the values of I zero, V zero, W one, W two. So W zero I have calculated it as W one plus W two as point four zero three watt. Cos of phi zero I have calculated it as point zero zero one three. Therefore phi zero is eighty nine point nine degree. I W I have calculated it as 0.001 ampere, and I M working component of current I have calculated it as 0.81 ampere, and I zero, uh, sorry R zero, is 127 kilo ohm, and X zero as 156.79 ohms. Excuse me. How about a decayer? बर बर बता तुला जस जमेल तस नहीं तो तू वीडियो बग न थाम ना तू थाम थाम थोड़ा ओके So after this, let us perform the block rotor test. So block rotor test. I'll stop sharing this screen. Yes. So this was for. No load test. Then for blocked rotor test, again same thing. Block rotor test. It is also from IIT Guwahati. So if we we'll put this introduction, if I press this introduction, I get this introduction. So what is the objective of this? This test is performed to determine the short circuit current ISC with normal applied voltage to stator power factor on short circuit total equivalent resistance and reactance of the motor as referred to stator the locked rotor test is done by mechanically holding the motor shaft from turning and applying the reduced voltage on the stator so in this experiment as 
its name indicate blocked rotor test so you have to block the rotor so uh, shaft you have to either uh, keep it at a fixed value so that you can do by certain mechanical arrangement and then you have to vary the voltage and take the readings of power so uh, this procedure so you have to align the mechanical load with the shaft and tighten it with the help of the range so that your shaft will be pulled that is your rotor will be blocked and with blocked rotor you are applying the supply to the stator windings so these connections you can see you can go through this and you can uh, do the connections now i'll play this video align the mechanical rod with the shaft so is it visible avi avi screen is visible to you yes sir okay i'll play it align the mechanical rod with the shaft and use wrench to tighten the screw now rotate the wrench clockwise until the screw is tight it's tight do you want to remove the wrench yes select the cable color red CC of the wall meter on the left side. Connect common part of wall meter with U1. Select the cable color green. Connect PC potential with P1. Connect L2 with P1. Select the cable color blue. Connect L3 with CC of the wall meter on the right side. Connect the common part of the wall meter with W1. Select the cable color green. Connect PC with V1. Select the cable color green. Connect L2 with one terminal of the voltmeter. Select the cable color blue. Connect L3 with the other terminal of the voltmeter. Select the cable color black. Connect emitter between U2 and V2. Sort V2 and V2. Click the red button if the connection is correct. Click OK. If the connection is wrong, follow the error message display and correct the connection. Select one of the two-way switch on the left-hand side of the panel. Switch on the MCB and click the start button. Switch on the second MCB. Click B on the three-way switch to select the variable voltage. Select one on the next two-way switch. Select voltage with the voltage regulator knob. Note the readings of voltmeter, ammeter, and voltmeter. Okay, fine. So, hello, students. Now stop we are going to conduct an experiment on three-phase induction motor. That is, determine. Yes. 
so we have taken readings from that so from no note test also you can take readings various readings of uh, rated for rated voltage at rated voltage and below rated voltage so you can vary that particular knob which is here so this particular knob you can vary and so after uh, making the connections this is the block rotor test so after making connections you have to click this check connection if your connections are okay then it will rate you yes it is star connection you have made so that means all the connections are good so you can turn on the switch so now after that you can uh, switch on this switch number 1 then this mcb you have to turn on then press this start and press this mcb 2 on then uh, keep this knob at uh, position b so that you can get variable voltage press this next knob to one position and vary the voltage with this particular knob if you will uh, from 0% to 100% you can vary the voltage if you will keep your knob at 100% you will get the rated voltage at the reading of voltmeter and rated voltage uh, you can see in this figure also it is 127 volt it is showing okay now you can check the ammeter reading what is that what watt meter one reading and you can note watt meter two reading so all these readings you can note and you can plot various graphs also and we are interested in calculating these um, parameters so from this experiment which we have performed we have got the current value isc as 30.23 voltage at rated voltage vsc 127 volt watt meter one reading and watt meter two reading so these you can also see on this this experiment which i have performed in that also you uh, um, you are able to see the readings i have catch the graph um, uh, figure uh, 127 volt then 30.23 ampere 6.55 minus 6.55 watt meter reading one and minus 5.99 as watt meter two readings so these readings are um, also here so with these readings now you can calculate the following values so zsc you can calculate by uh, taking the ratio of vsc and isc by root 3 so vsc and isc are this 127 and 30.23 substitute the values you will get this value of zsc then value of rsc you can calculate it from zsc cos of phi sc or this rsc is equal to wsc divided by isc square so these readings you can take and find out value of rsc cos of phi sc then xsc you can calculate r2 you can calculate x2 you can calculate and r1 you can calculate so all these parameter values you can calculate using block rotor test so you can perform these two tests no load test and block rotor test uh, on three phase induction motor to calculate these parameters okay so this is one site iit guwahati site you can go through uh, these two links and you can perform the practicals one more link is there for performing these two practicals which is uh, coep college of engineering pune link so this is coep link of virtual labs so you can go through this also and perform the same experiment of block rotor test and no load test on three phase induction motor so this is the circuit uh, this is the link you can go to that link and you can perform this experiment and you can plot the graph because in uh, iit guwahati site in that site there is no uh, means link for noting down the reading and plotting the graph but on coep website the you can see here you can note down the readings of various 
voltages and for that corresponding various voltages you can read uh, you can take the readings of current current meter watt meter 1 watt meter 2 speed also you can observe that readings also you will get and then total copper loss rotor angle and input power you will be able to calculate it directly on that table and from this you can plot various graphs so these graphs you can be able to plot on this particular site so this is for another experiment block rotor and no load test so this is for no load test and this is for block rotor test okay so you can perform both the practicals uh, means uh, it is only one practical three phase induction motor but you will perform two tests on that load test one is no load test and another is block rotor rotor test okay so i hope i have finished off with the practical so if you have got any difficulty you can ask i'll stop recording for